Good morning, Blake. Hey, Colette, good morning. Yeah, we're hearing those charges are coming soon. Now, if you remember, in June of 2019, Michigan's new attorney general, Dana Nessel, dismissed the case against eight people in the wake of the water crisis and opened up a new investigation. Now officials are telling TV5 it's time for accountability. Now, to this day, the Flint community is still dealing with the effects of the water crisis, but some say the potential charges against former Governor Rick Snyder and others brings them closer to achieving justice for Flint. You know, we've been asking for this and begging and fighting for accountability because we know what happened in Flint was criminal. That's all we've ever said is this is a crime. That's a crime former mayor Karen Weaver says is equivalent to manslaughter and even murder after the city's water was switched from the Detroit water system to the Flint River in 2014 under the Snyder administration. Now the switch sent more highly corrosive water through the system, causing lead to leach out of the lines and contaminate tap water. Around 100,000 residents drank that water. You look at this whole community physically, mentally, emotionally has been changed forever uh, because of Governor Snyder and others. Now, a statement released by Snyder and his legal team accuses the Office of Special Counsel of needing a scapegoat and is wasting time and money on, quote, a fruitless investigation. It says rather than following evidence to find truth, it appears to be targeting Snyder for a political escapade. Now, we're also told former health director Nick Lyon and former top aide Rich Bard are among the many who will also face charges. Reporting live this morning, Blake Keller, WNEM TV5.